Um, my name is Maggie Henry, and I have an 88-acre farm in Bessemer, Pennsylvania, on the outskirts of Bessemer, Pennsylvania, actually, home to a six-square-mile radius of legacy wells, thousands of them. So the wells were drilled between 1901 and 1906, and we don't have any record of the wells that were drilled after 1906. Approximately 4,100 feet from my farm, Shell has decided to put in a horizontal Marcellus well. And um, with, trust me, little to no regard for the abandoned wells. And it is my belief that some areas are just too sensitive to drill. Methane migrates into people's homes through these conduits to the surface. Water is polluted. It's just crazy, the industry record of this and the very idea that the government isn't doing something to protect the citizens. They have literally exposed us all to this outrageous experiment without our per permission to toxic cancer-causing endocrine disrupting chemicals known carcinogen agents it's actually beyond belief Among other things, a lot of poultry. I have about 200 laying chickens. I have about, well, right now on the ground, I have about 200 meat birds. Throughout a normal season, I might have as many as 2,000 meat birds. I have turkeys. And um, we actually grow the ration that we grind up and feed to the chicken. It's, you know, exactly what the animal should be eating. It, there's never any genetically modified corn or soybeans that go into it. So it is not, not only is it not GMO, it's not pesticide and herbicide laden. It's never sprayed with anything like that. And I also have pigs. I try to do heritage breeds of everything. And the breed that I settled on for pigs is Berkshire. And they are supposedly from England and they're a very old breed they do very well out on pasture they are black with white trim on their ears which stand straight up and their hoofs they they make wonderful mothers it's actually I had the guy that I buy my uh, we buy truckloads of certified organic black turtle beans that we use instead of soybeans for protein. And he told me it was called the meat of kings. But um, I also have, in addition to the poultry and the pigs, I raise beef for myself and some friends. Just a couple of steers every year. And I have a big, huge vegetable garden that I pretty much grow everything you could want in it, from asparagus to zucchini, A to Z. You know, probably the most tragic thing about all of this for me is I expected 
somehow to raise another generation of Henrys that were farmers on this place. I expected to welcome home my son and his wife, my daughter and their husband, and I expected to raise my grandkids here the way that I raised my kids here. And how can I have them in this toxic environment with these endocrine disruptors and the carcinogenic agents? I don't even want to be here. I, I wanted to grow old here with my grandkids. Food not poison, far not fracking.